Hi guys, welcome back to our Bailey life. I am in the car. This is a completely unplanned video, but uh, I just read a comment on one of our older videos and I just really want to talk to you guys about this. So here is a completely unpolished, unplanned video. I'm on my phone filming this. I'm not even using the camera. But I have been meaning to do an update on this for ages and it's just hard to get it done. So this is how we're going to do it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the video that we filmed actually a couple of years ago now, I think, on high needs babies. And I wanted to give you guys an update because there's been so many comments on that video and so many people sharing stories and asking for help and asking for updates. And so I really wanted to touch on that again. So the first thing I want to say is since I made that last video and all of this time has passed and I've learned so much more now, um, I've realized that I think the much better term is actually a highly sensitive child and that is why they have these unique needs is because they are highly sensitive and the biggest trait that I find that is really describes these children and please put your foot down <laughs> um, and helps you understand them is a term that I heard from a book that they talk about how these children are they deeply process things. And I think that's just the best description. Sia deeply processes and also, everything. I have painted nails. <laughs> She's very excited that she got her nails painted. Yeah, and I'm excited because Mimi and Papa are coming up for my birthday. Yes, they are. So with highly sensitive children, they are very sensitive to everything, lots of different things. And there's also a lot of variation between highly sensitive children. So they may show sensitivities in different areas. They may express their sensitivity, like their feelings in different ways. Um, so there's a lot of uniqueness even within highly sensitive children. But I think the most common thing, um, the trait that is shared across the board is that they are deeply processing everything and so it's quite overwhelming for them to take in and as you can imagine it makes them quite emotional they have more reaction because of how much they're taking in and how much they're processing things and then also those reactions and emotions are stronger because of this unique personality type so just to understand that is helpful and to read the comments from other parents who have been through this um, it just helps you not feel so alone. It helps you understand your child a bit more. And I definitely wanna do more videos on this and break it down a bit more and share some just things that I've learned, helpful tips along the way. Um, but I just wanna keep this video short since we're just like in the car and just going off the cuff here. Hang on one second, my baby. Um, one thing I will say, there are two things I wanna to touch on first. One thing is there is a book called highly sensitive child. I highly recommend reading it. Get the audiobook, get the, the tangible book, whatever, but read that book. It will help you understand your child a lot more and help you help them. The other thing that I want to add in before closing out this video is if there's anything I can say right off the bat that's going to help you is to just learn your child, learn to understand your child, and always know that everything is going to happen in cycles. And so when you think you get through something, it's gonna show back up again. Like you're never just like, oh, it's over, that's done with. Once you learn to expect that they are going through cycles in their development and things are always going to cycle, you can be feel more prepared to handle it. You expect that it's coming, you know that it's gonna happen again and you can be more prepared next time it pops up. Um, and also just help you to be better prepared to help aid them through all of their feelings and emotions. Like whether it is tantrums and reactions, like they go through phases, cycles with that. They're going to have big moments for several weeks at a time and then they will be an angel for a couple weeks and then it's going to pop up again. Same thing with sleep. They're going to have a really hard time sleeping um, and then it'll pass. And then for a few weeks they sleep wonderfully but then it will pop up again when they have more like literally developmental changes that are happening in their brain. And as those things pop up and as they go through these different stages of physical growth, they have, they have to adjust to those things all over again. 
and they're deeply processing and they're deeply feeling everything that they experience, which is, I've learned it's like such a miraculous thing. Like it's such a really cool and really strong and special thing and it can make them really awesome, amazing people. But we just have to, as parents, support them as best we can. So that's all I want to leave you with for today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope it's helpful just to have an update to all of you who have commented on the last video. Uh, I feel you all so much and I just really wanted to connect to you again because I, I know what it's like to be there and I'm, I mean I'm still there I'm still going through it all the time so I just really wanted to reach out even with a short little off-the-cuff video just to give you guys an update and I promise I will do more on these as well that's all for today have a great day click the red subscribe button for more videos and we'll see you guys again soon bye